Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while. Hope you are doing well. Today I'll show you how to create a smooth scrolling effect using CSS. So let's go! Alright, in the previous video we've created a responsive navigation bar starting from scratch. Feel free to check it out if you want to see step by step how we've gotten up to this point. Now, if we click on a link that targets an anchored position within the document, we can see that an instant transition from one location to another takes place. In order to replace this default scrolling behavior of basically instantly jumping from one location to another with a more animated transition, all we have to do is the following. In our CSS file, we set the scroll behavior property to smooth. For the HTML element, since we want to enable smooth scrolling for the whole page, note that it is also possible to add smooth scrolling uh, to a more specific container element However, in our case, we want to enable it for the whole page. And that's all basically. So if we save, we can see that smooth scrolling comes into effect. As simple as that. Also note that uh, the scroll behavior property does not affect any other scrolls, such as those performed by the user. The alternative value to the smooth value for scroll behavior is auto, which gives the default instant scrolling behavior. Alright, now what are the pros and cons of using this approach to achieve the smooth scrolling effect? Well, the coolest thing about this approach is its simplicity. It doesn't get much simpler than that, does it? Another advantage comes from the fact that this is a CSS only solution and therefore we don't prevent any default behavior using JavaScript. So, in the worst case scenario where the browser does not support the scroll behavior property, the links will still work as intended but without the smooth scrolling animation. So if for example we open our project with Microsoft Edge which does not support the scroll behavior property, we can see that the links still work as intended but without the smooth scrolling effect. The relatively low browser support is the main disadvantage of this approach. So if we check the browser compatibility for the scroll behavior property, we can see that up to this point, up to August 3rd, 2018, it is fully supported by Chrome, Firefox and Opera and it is not supported from Microsoft Edge, IE and Safari for desktops and for mobiles it is fully supported by Firefox for Android and Chrome for Android. It has question mark but I think it's actually supported. And if we also check the canaiuse.com website, we can see that the browser support up to August 29th, 2018 uh, covers the s approximately 66% of global usage. Another disadvantage of this approach is that it doesn't allow for customization of the scrolling function and or duration. Okay, that's all guys. I think there is no need to expand any further. In the next video, I will provide a vanilla JavaScript cross-browser solution for smooth scrolling. Thanks for watching. For any questions, suggestions or just to say hi, please use the comment section below. 
Hit the like button if you like this video, it's a simple gesture but really means a lot. Also don't forget to subscribe if you want more. Till next time, keep coding, keep improving and enjoy the journey. Take care, bye.